Yes, I am live outside the Jim Choi Community Center where they were watching the Supreme Court's blog, waiting for the announcement. And when it came down, they saw it happen. Now it is a big party outside. People are drinking champagne. They are celebrating. They are listening to music. And we expect that there will be a press conference in a very short time right here behind me. But I want to take you back to that moment, that historic moment, when the two women from Michigan learned that their case has made history. We're honored, you know, we are just truly honored that um, we we stood up and we had such amazing support from other people and um, that, uh, you know, we stood up and, and won what we what we wanted. We're the next door neighbor, we're your coworker, we're your sister, we're your brother, you know, we're your child and, you know, we do deserve the same rights as everybody else and, and our kids deserve the same rights and, you know, I think they're starting to see that the discrimination, you know, was, it just shouldn't be there. We had we to believe that it came. We had to believe that um, the law would protect our kids. We had to believe it. And talking about these kids, these two women are the parents of four children, and that's why they started this case. They wanted to both have joint adoption rights. They both wanted to be parents to their kids. They say they did this for their kids, and right now the press conference is about to start behind me. I want to go to this live. For Dana Nessel, the attorney in the Jane Rouse and April DeBoer case, to come up and take the stand there. This is a press conference that they're holding right now. 